hello guys and welcome to the channel today in this quick video i would like to show you how to safely remove usb stick in linux mint this will be very simple so let's get started it is very important to remove the usb stick safely and you can check out my other video where i explain why it is important to safely remove usb stick from your computer and not just yank it from the usb port because it can damage the usb stick and you might just break your usb stick so if you're interested, I'm going to put a link in the description, check it out. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to safely remove USB stick. If you have any external devices connected to your Linux Mint system, you will usually see them on the desktop. As you can see right now, I have the USB stick connected. If you connect another USB stick, it will be also on the desktop. But it's also the same case for any external devices such as external hard drives or external SSD drives. So the process will be the same for all these devices. And to safely remove the USB stick or any other external storage device, you just need to right click on the icon on the desktop and choose safely remove drive. If you choose to safely remove drive, it will cut off the power to the USB stick. So nothing is being copied on the USB stick and the controller gets shut down because the power is not going to the USB stick. So no information will be damaged or lost. So go ahead and left click on it. And as you can see, the icon has disappeared from the screen and the power is cut down to the USB stick. So now you can safely remove it and it will make sure no data is lost and that your USB stick will be functioning for a very long time. Another way how you can safely remove the USB stick by just choosing eject. And this eject button is actually located in a few different spots. So like I said, you can right click on this icon on the desktop. It's going to show you the eject right here. Then also if you go to the bottom right corner, you're going to see removable drives here. If you left click on it, it's going to show you all the removable drives available. There is also eject button over here. So you can choose either this one or this one. Or also if you open up this drive, you can see devices right here. And there is also eject button over here. So it doesn't matter which one you choose. It will serve the same purpose and you can choose that as well. So let's go ahead and inject it instead of safely removing the drive. As you can see, it did the same thing. But the only difference that I actually noticed is that the LED light on the USB stick is not disabled. So that means that there is still power going to the USB stick. But I guess it has disabled any connection to the USB stick because it's not mounted to this operating system anymore. But there is still power going to the USB stick. So I would prefer go and safely remove the drive. This way it just cuts off the power to this USB stick 100%. And when you do eject, it just unmounts it from the Linux Mint operating system, but there is still power going to the USB stick. And this might be helpful if you may be charging your device. There is still power going to this device and it's physically connected to your computer, but the drive is not mounted in the Linux Mint system. So these are the two major differences from eject and safely remove the drive, but they basically serve the same purpose to prevent any data corruption on the USB stick or any external storage devices. So yeah, this is it guys. This was a quick tip that I wanted to share with you. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and would like to see more Linux Mint videos, please take a second to hit the subscribe button. This will help me a lot to grow my channel and bring you more interesting, helpful Linux videos. And if you have any comments, questions, make sure to drop them down in the comment section below. I'll try to read the comments and help you if I can. If you want to learn more about Linux Mint, you can check out my Linux Mint playlist. I got a lot of videos on variety of Linux Mint topics, so make sure to check it out. And by the way, if you already have any USB stick that have been broken because it wasn't removed safely, I got another video how to fix the USB stick if it's not recognized on a computer or laptop and it's not visible to Windows or Linux or any other operating system, how to restore that USB stick. So check it out. I'm going to put a link in the description. But yeah, this is it for now. I hope you have a nice day. See you soon. Bye-bye.